Welcome back. Kristen Patrick and Andy Marley are the co-owners of Lauren's Alcohol-Free Beverages in Carmel, and they're here to tell us what they have in store for Valentine's Day. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. Hi, thank Welcome. You. Hi. Happy to have you back on the show. Great to have thank you. Here. It's actually yeah. perfect timing to have them here. It really is. Because Ryan and I were saying we've been featuring a lot of great local content. We've had a, quite a few little mixed drinks today, just yeah. so happens. Yeah. So a lot of people love this option. We're talking alcohol-free. Right. Give us an overview. That's right. Well, uh, first of all, Valentine's Day falls on a Monday this year. No one has time for a hangover yeah. on a Tuesday, right, for starters. But um, Andy and I are big, uh, we're passionate believers in an alcohol-free lifestyle. Um, I'll be 45 next week, and I say a lot of um, customers are about my age and say, hey, we just don't bounce back like we once did. Mm. Um, and so choosing alcohol-free for just helpful options. Yeah. A lot of our drinks are vegan, gluten-free, and low calorie. I love it. And this is becoming quite the trend I've heard too. People absolutely. are in, in a younger yeah, generation absolutely. as well, much younger, is looking for some alcohol-free options. And so walk us through some of the uh, these beautiful Valentine's Day themed wines that you brought with you uh, today. All right, well today we chose to focus on sparklings and rosés. Okay. Uh, so let's start here with this Joyous. This one is um, all West Coast vibe. It is Pacific Northwest notes of strawberries and blackberries with some California citrus. This one has won a gold medal in the San Francisco International Wine Competition, oh, which wow. is one of the world's oldest and biggest wine competitions. Okay, so you know it's good. Yes, yeah. uh, a crowd favorite. This one is toast, which is what we would call a wine alternative. It is not a wine at all. It is actually a sparkling tea. Okay. Uh, oh. White ginger, uh, white tea, and cram or white cranberry, white tea, and ginger. Jill, you would love that. Uh, I love, yeah. I love tea. This one, so sparkling good. teas. That is so fun. It's a crowd pleaser. This yes. one's, uh, this one's perfect for like an office or work party. Yeah. yeah. Not too dry, not too sweet, and a great price point at ten dollars. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's perfect. Ten bucks a bottle. That's yeah. fantastic. All right, and then this one is the sparkling verdejo. Uh, this one is um, produced in Spain, has a notes of crisp tart apple with a nice lemon finish, okay. and it is um, it's dry. So I mention that because I think one of the biggest myths coming to the store is the assumption that our wines are full of sugar or super sweet, right. and that is not the case at all. Okay. Uh, we will be serving samples of this one this Saturday, February 11th, all day at the store. Nice, okay, oh, so you fun. can go on in and taste it for yourself. A little tasting of it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna share my my top picks. Okay. Let's do it. Um, what is it? <laughs> the first one is this Vibe. Look at this bottle, isn't it it's just so bottle. fun? Yeah. And it's, it's wonderful for events, and the good thing is that it tastes delicious. It's a spumante style, Italian style sparkling wine. Nice. It's gonna have notes of orange and pear and apricot. Nice. It's Legitimately delicious and it's beautiful and so fun to bring to a party. Put a bow around it. Put a bow around it. We, we, like oh, we put bows around all our bows. Yeah. <laughs> the next, uh, my next rig is this drink called Empress. Okay. Now this is a little more artsy, this is a little more funky. This is an elevated kombucha from a oh. family owned business in Norway. Oh, I love kombucha. So this is going to have notes of rose petal, it's going to have notes of pine, it's going to be really herby, it's going to be really rich. Um, you're going to drink it iced like a rose in a nice little chilled wine glass and it's gonna be sort of like a pink pepper, rosé, really elevated, crisp, chill drink. Wow. Just kind of outside the box, just yeah. kind of funky. No, oh, and did you, oh, I do wanna point out, Venus Rose. It is Venus Rose. Valentine's Day. Yes, right. yes. That's perfect. But, you two, I've got to say. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. <laughs> what the is piece this? de resistance yes. is French Bloom. Okay. And oh. this is what we're gonna be trying today. Okay. I must say that this is the most expensive thing that we have in our store. Oh, at $44 a bottle, okay. it is absolutely worth it okay. to celebrate with a loved one, to do something special. If you have any big plans for Valentine's Day, this is gonna be exactly what you wanna pick up. I know when we're talking wine, $44 is a great price point and it doesn't it's have not. any alcohol in That's it. That's right. Yeah. It yeah. actually has zero alcohol in it because it's hand uh, Dealkalized. It's from France. It's okay. organic. It's actually in 2022. It won best in the world. Wow. What? Okay. So popping bottles. All right. Here we go. Is. French Bloom. Yeah. And where can people find you in town if they're like they're looking at this stuff? Where they're like, we got to try it. We are located in Carmel on Hazeldale and Main Street. Okay. Um, right in between Cafe Patachou and Rack's Barbecue, which we love. Both oh, of that's those perfect places. spot. Yeah. Well, especially, you know, when you're maybe brunching and you want something that's alcohol-free that just doesn't yeah. interfere with your day. Exactly. There's so many reasons to check you guys out. You. And that's why I like to stop drinking. I'm a mom. Um, I, for me, it's the energy, it's the sleep, it's having something delicious yeah. and having a ritual, but then getting on with your life and, just, yeah. and being exactly. fully present with the people that you love. I love that. I love that. Let's Cheers. remind everybody how they can check you guys out and how they can get everything you just showed them. Wow, is that mm. good? Uh, follow us on Instagram, drinklawrenceaf. 
We're also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, we also, if you go to our website, lawrenceaf.com, we um, send out a bi-weekly newsletter. I love it. Yeah, and make sure you go, uh, go into that Saturday sampling there, the tasting of the sparkling Verdejo. Ladies, thank you so much. This thank is you delicious. So much. Ooh, Check out the French Bloom for 44 bucks while you're there. Oh it's my great. goodness, this would be perfect to treat yourself. You know, Cheers. pour a little bit of this. Take a bubble bath, I don't know. This would be nice. <laughs> I love Ladies, it. thank you so much. You. I enjoy it. Thank well, you. it's time to check in with some adoptable local mm. pups who are sure to steal your heart. That's Stephanie right. Curry is here yeah. from the Animal Protection League in Anderson, and she's brought some pups along who oh. need a forever oh. home. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Good morning. Stephanie, would you mind introducing us to these sure. little cutie pies? This dark hi. guy here, this is Smokey, and the other guy is Zip. Oh, hi, Smokey sweetheart. and Zip. Yeah. Hi, oh, How my goodness. You? So it's actually Spay hi. and Neuter Awareness Month. Yes. Perfect time to be uh -huh. here. Let's talk about why that's important right now. Right. So when you spay and neuter your pets, <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of health health advantages, right? And not yeah. only are they not <laughs> making more dogs that need homes, yeah, um, but you know they're they're calmer and um, happier and healthier. Yeah. <laughs> Breathing right into the mic. I love it. Talk to us about Zip here. What what do we what do people need to know about Zip? So both these guys are going to be husky mixes of, yeah. of some kind, right? Um, they're about the same size, right? But Zip here, he's about a year and a half. Yeah, okay. And um, here, Zip, turn around, buddy. Right. Hey, you show everybody your camera? baby blues, Let's buddy. Let's show Indy every. Can we show him your cute little yeah. faces? He does have beautiful blue eyes. They have they gorgeous are. eyes. They oh are my stunning. goodness. Well, and these would be just great guys to have home with the family. Yes. It's the month of love with Valentine's Day. And these guys just need some love. That's they what they're do. looking for right now. That is their specialty. How long have you been fostering Zip and Smokey here? Oh, goodness. Um, so I've had um, Zip here since, oh, gosh, it's been over a year now. OK. Um, and I've had Smokey about four or five months now. Oh, oh they're wow. so sweet. Right? What kind of home would be best for these two? So these guys would probably do best with a yard. Okay. They do best either with um, somebody who wants to do either adventures or have another buddy for them yeah. to make their own adventures with. Okay. Yeah. Either way, they can be happy. Give or take, how old <laughs> this are these guys? Giving are us a hug. <laughs> Zip, here, Zip here is a year and a half, and Smokey's about eight months. Yeah. Are, are they about? Are they going to get any bigger, or are they going to stay um, about this size? You know what? This guy, he's done. <laughs> Um, <laughs> We're having a moment over here. Yeah, you are. Smokey, he's probably about as tall as he's going to get. He'll fill okay. out quite a bit more, though. Yeah, so sweet. Yeah. He's a teenager. Now, the Animal Protection League is such an incredible organization. Mm -hmm. I know our viewers are probably familiar, but for anybody who isn't, how do you describe it? Wow. Um, so, it sits there in Anderson, Indiana, and it's an open admission shelter, yeah. which means that they don't have options on um, saying yes or no. Right. So, right. anybody who, who brings... Um, you know, somebody to them, you know, they're they're in the trenches doing their best to yeah. to figure out how to help all of them. Yeah, yeah. there's a big cost associated with spaying and neutering too, Absolutely. right? For, yeah. for the organization, mm -hmm. and so they obviously need some donations. Uh, I, I think I heard $3,000 a month that they go into it's, helping these yeah. dogs. Yeah. So people watching right now, whether you can take a, an animal home or not, there are ways to help. What Absolutely. are the best ways? Sure, mm -hmm. so um, you could foster. Yeah. You know, I take these guys into to my home and, you know, they get socialized and um, they hang out with the family. They learn how to be a pet. They learn yeah. about, you know, stairs and kids and, yeah. and other dogs and things like that, car rides. Nice. Um, if you can't foster, you know, you can always pop by and be a volunteer. You can walk dogs, yeah. um, volunteer your time. You can pick up laundry if you don't want to walk the dogs. Sure. Yeah. Pick up some laundry, take it home, wash it, return it for them. Um, and of course, you can always donate. Oh, that's awesome. If people so are interested Hi, in giving Zip and Smokey their mm -hmm. forever home, where should they go to learn more? So uh, I would start at inapl.org. Okay. Right? There is um, an application there and have a little bit of patience and someone to get right back with you. Oh, that's great. Look at the, these <laughs> blue these. eyes are absolutely beautiful, guys. Yeah, Oh, so someone's fun. gonna take you home, yeah. you're so cute. Stephanie, thank you so absolutely. much. We, we love supporting uh, uh, Animal Protection League in Anderson. They do great, great work. And uh, go to APL Indiana on Instagram to find out more. And uh, let's find Zip and Smokey some let's forever homes. Home. They're so yeah, loving so and cute. sweet. They oh are. my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> Thanks, them here. Stephanie. We Absolutely. appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us again. Yeah, you bet. Still to come, our friends from the City Moms are sharing their list of fun local places to celebrate Galentine's Day. That's right, including a night in. Don't go anywhere, friends. We're going to be right back.